I consider myself a crooner, which is why the title of my show is Come Croon With Me, because infused by gospel, R&B, pop, and blues, it kind of makes me one of those performers that takes you back to an era that's kind of long gone. Nowadays, you can't get people to sing Peewa Bryson and Teddy Pendergrass, Luther Vandross, and then also be able to flip it and give you some uh, Sam Cooke or um, Frank Sinatra, and then also being able to sing some classical tunes. So I try to bring in a little piece of every genre that has meant something to me. Just, I have to be honest with you, being a part of the Marching 100 really changed my life. And I came to FAMU at a time when we were chosen to march in the first inauguration of President Bill Clinton. And it was a really, really uh, high time for the university and the marching, book, marching band program. And that band had just come from Paris. We had the concert choir that was becoming a lot bigger. The gospel choir was about to record with Timothy Clark. There were all these things happening. And so they were bringing in a lot of facets from around the world. And I got kind of exposed to a lot more than I would have in a smaller university with a smaller budget. And I was meeting people from everywhere while at the same time still taking some courses and making friends at Florida State. So the time here on the Hill became not just about my own black experience, but a diverse culture in Tallahassee, having three different schools here, and having music be one of those vehicles that's international for everybody. Crazy. This university, when I got here, it was kind of like this, and it's just gone. And to watch how everyone is growing and blossoming and each department has a new adventure that there wasn't here before. Coming back is kind of nostalgic too. I was standing on the stage yesterday singing and I had to stop. Because I was like, man, the last time I sat on this stage and just stood there and sang was 20 years ago. <laughs> it's a long time, but it's great to be back. Energy, excitement. Passion, artistry. One of the biggest things that happens now with, in my opinion, with entertainers, you come out and it's just, here's what I'm gonna do whether you like it or not. That's not what my show is about. If you wanna go left, let's go left. If you wanna go right, if you wanna just stay in this zone for a minute and let's just have this wonderful opportunity of music, because it's not just about me. It's about the 12 piece orchestra that we'll have with us. It's also about the four background vocalists, it's about the many guests that are gonna come in and perform as well. It's a family affair, and I want people to feel like they're all a part.